Engineering Our Own Green Future. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 116. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 116, May 24th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments with video and pictures, everything that we've accomplished for the last week uh, with videos and pictures. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the first 25% of the content for the communication lesson plan to the website. This includes all the icons and some of the written content. This lesson plan teaches all subjects to all learning levels using the central theme of communication. Behind the scenes, we wrote the final 25% of our lesson plan with this same central theme of communication, which now brings us to 100% complete on the writing aspect. Paige Allison Donatelli, graphic designer and owner-operator of Namaste Living in a Material World, finished the first 25% of the image creation for the Outer Space lesson plan mind map, which you can see here. And Paige also helped us create this new image for the Movement and Development Lesson Plan, which we featured this week across our social media channels. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source radishes hub. And we did this for our open source tomatoes hub. We also researched and added two additional recipes to the Open Source Potatoes Hub, which you can see here, and more recipes from our food self-sufficiency transition plan that feature potatoes will be added to this page in the future. Last but not least, we added three new recipes from Sandra Salani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB, to the food self-sufficiency transition plan. These recipes are oat flour pancakes with mango puree, pesto pasta salad with arugula, and a creamy fennel coconut soup. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on Highest Good Housing updated over 20 pages of the custom furniture for the final instruction set for the Earthbag Village and the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This is the final image review and update series, and this series of updates brings us to 30% complete. We also added 50% of our research to the waterproofing strategy page for the Earth Dome structures. This brings that page to about 40% complete. 
and we moved another 25% of the Earth Dome loft structural engineering calculations to the website. This open source work was completed by Antonio Zambianco, a civil engineering student, and is now 60% complete on the site. Cheng Su, mechanical design engineer, also finished his final round of SolidWorks design specifics for the Three Dome cluster of the upcoming crowdfunding campaign, as well as the Earthbag Village. That prepared these domes for structural calculations and 3D printing. George Antonio Ricardo, a mechanical engineering student, then began work on dividing this structure into the pieces that can be 3D printed to show its modular components. These pieces include a roof option. Song Dong, Masters in Mechanical Engineering, also finished the first round of elevation and cross-section modeling of these three dome structures in AutoCAD. Sayonara Batista de Oliveira, fourth year architecture and urban planning student, also completed a week of researching the benefits and challenges of Cobb construction. You can see the details of Sayonara's work here, added by the core team to the new Cobb Village Pod 3 page. Sayonara also created these design ideas for the new Cobb Village Pod 3. Nadia Leventhal, graphic designer and college professor, additionally completed her second round of Cobb Village Pod 3 sketches. What you see here are four distinct aesthetics purposed to create an artist's village. Each structure you see represents a different artistic discipline. Architecture and planning team members from Team Brazil also created their second series of designs of the Shipping Container Village Pod 5. The primary focus of these changes was moving the entire second and third floor forward and reorganizing it to maximize passive solar. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Mike Balbino, architecture and urban design student, completed revision four of the duplicate city center designs in AutoCAD. This included new bathroom designs that eliminated the need for an entry door, new locations for water fountains, new second floor table layouts in the dining dome, some slope additions to the third floor, and more cupola edits to the fourth floor. Behind the scenes, Lucas Silva, fourth year computer engineering student, completed extensive research into different control system sensors and controllers. You can see this work here. Mike Hogan, Automation Systems Developer and Business Systems Consultant, also helped organize the necessary control systems design criteria. We'd say we're done with about the first 20% of the research and organization process for these systems. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true Earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Vasily Bizarov, writer, poet, and translator, finished translating our highest good of all webpage into Russian. This is our first page to be translated into this language. Behind the scenes, Binru Chen, accountant specializing in audit and financial reporting, has helped us create open source for profit and non profit income statements that will soon be part of the tax considerations and strategy page. Uh, this work is part of the highest good economics component of building teacher demonstration hubs around the world. We say this work is now about 40% complete behind the scenes and 20% complete on the site. We also finalized and added the community member agreement to the One Community Legal page. This is the work of Yusuf Suleiman, a lawyer and member of the Nigerian Bar Association, and it's added as an open source template for others wishing to form similar agreements with their incoming members. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community believes in engineering our own green future. And we think that the path to accomplishing this is a simple one. We believe that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate sustainable and green living as attractive enough, the idea will spread on its own. And so we're taking all the components of sustainability and creating an evolved version of sustainability that takes the foundations of physical sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combines them with the foundations for emotional sustainability, which are highest good education, highest good economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, as well as fulfilled living models and true earth stewardship. And putting these things together 
as open source tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions for creating complete, self-sufficient, and self-replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities to be built around the world. We believe that we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate community living and the teacher demonstration model as attractive enough that the idea will spread on its own and these solution models that are designed to create additional solution creating models will help others to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities too. With this idea spreading across the world, we can take sustainability to the places that it's needed most, as well as provide sustainable options that people can implement in their life in small forms as well. Because everything that we're doing is meant to be the complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, as well as implementable as individual components. So that somebody can build themselves an aquaponic system, so that somebody can plant themselves a garden, so that somebody can build themselves a sustainable guest home or implement a highest good education program, community-based education program, or just bring a, a more comprehensive model of education into their own home. If we take all of these elements and we put them together, you have a teacher demonstration community, village, city, and hub, and this is how we're engineering our own green future. This is how we're taking these components and we're teaching people that they can take control of their lives. And because we're open sourcing it, because we're free sharing it, it's designed so that people can do it the way that they want. Our idea is that engineering our own green future is not just about doing it one way. It's about giving people the tools, the resources, the do-it-yourself instructions to do it their own way. And so we're creating with the consciousness for the highest good of all. For the highest good of all of humanity, all life on this planet, we're bringing together the people that believe that it's not only possible, but now is the time, and that we're capable and want to be a part of it. And we're creating what's necessary. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds interesting to you, or something you'd like to be a part of, we have lots of different ways to participate. You can join our team as either a pioneer member, the people that will move to one community and build the physical location, the first teacher demonstration, community, village, and city that will invite tens of thousands and eventually hundreds of thousands of people to be able to visit and experience what it is that we're doing. And if they like it, they'll be able to take it and duplicate it themselves using the instructionals and the video tutorials and everything that we're creating right now and will continue to evolve more and more once we move on the property. You can also join our team as a satellite member, which are similar to pioneers in that they get to participate in all of our weekly calls and the decision-making process, everything that we're doing behind the scenes but they don't intend to move to the property, or they intend to start their own teacher demonstration village, community, or city somewhere other than where one community will be building ours. Or of course, you can join our team as a partner or a consultant. These are the people that are donating their time, volunteering uh, with what they have available to help move this project forward. And last but not least, you can share our information on social media. The only way that our project can succeed is if the word gets out. And so the more people that understand what it is that we're doing, the more people that participate, the faster we can accomplish this idea of engineering our own green future by creating the foundations that we're creating right now, finishing the details and sharing them with more and more. We are on all the different social media networks to make this as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest, we are on Twitter, we are on Facebook, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Reddit, we are on Tumblr, we are on Sue, we are on even more, probably 10, 15 additional social media networks, and so sharing our information is hugely helpful. Last but not least, people ask all the time, they say, what is the number one thing that we can do to help you? And so one community is still seeking large-scale funding. Our team is an all-volunteer, unpaid team. Every penny that we get, every $5 donation, every $10 donation, every $50 donation that we get goes towards the operating expenses of maintaining our web infrastructure, of maintaining all the details that are necessary to operate a nonprofit organization like ours. None of us are paid, but we're still seeking that large-scale funding that's necessary for us to get the property off the market. The same property that we have now been working with for four and a half years, we've developed a relationship with the county, we've been designing around this location because we know that we'll be able to share the experience of one community with tens of thousands, and as I said, eventually hundreds of thousands of people because the location is ideal and specific just for that, large enough for us to expand and build all seven village models, designed so that people will want to come and visit even before the first village model is built and with enough infrastructure to house our initial 50 person team. So if you'd like to help, the number one thing that we could use right now is a person, an investor or a donor to our 501c3 nonprofit organization 
to help us get that property off the market. Then we can share those locations, this is the location details. We can share pictures and video of the of the location and uh, complete our team, get boots on the ground, and start to actually build and open source and free share the next level of design and do-it-yourself instructions for everything that we are already creating and have created. So this is what we're up to. We thank everyone who's following our progress. We thank you for the emails that we get. We thank you for sharing our information on social media. As always, if you like more details, more specifics about everything that it is that we're creating, you can visit our written blog. And of course, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these email updates or one of these updates comes out, you can join our email list and our newsletter list by sending an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our email list as well. So thanks for following our progress. Of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.